My Steam Deck talk is finally here, so let's open it up. Right, so here it is. It's finally come. It took a couple weeks. It is more expensive than the regular USB dock, USB-C dock, but I will give you two reasons why you should get this. Once I get it out of the package, a booklet I'll possibly never read. Pop that to the side. Okay, so I have it here. I've got the dock itself. It's got the uh, charging cable there. The port's on the back. Let me see if I can get that in camera. So I've got three USB ports, Ethernet, power in, HDMI and a display port, which I don't think I will ever, ever use. And then obviously the exact same kind of charger that comes with the Steam Deck, really. The fact that you get the official charger with it, which is a good 20 pounds at least it's worth, and you get official updates from Valve. So if anything goes wrong, well, Valve will probably sort it out. Right, let's dock this thing up. This is interesting. It's now saying docking station update available. So I'm gonna say apply. Oh, there you go. That's nice. Do not unplug Steam Deck. While it's updating, I'll probably just show you the fact that it's it's very stable on there. There's a grip on there and you have a bit of room for the vent just at the side, which is nice. I know some of the docks, like is it the J-Salt one? They don't really have any, well, they kind of block some of the vents, which is not a good idea. I've connected my um, wireless keyboard and mouse uh, to Steam Deck, it's saying slow charger. Your Steam Deck is connected to a slow charger. Below is a recommended range. What do you mean slow charger? I plugged in the official Steam one. Depending on the charger and what you're doing on the Steam Deck, your battery may continue to drain. Okay, it's quite interesting. <laughs> well, I simply just took the cable in and out and it somehow seemed to show up, which is good. Let's see if I can get onto desktop mode. In fact, let's just see if my keyboard and mouse work. Yes, it works. Okay, let's go on to desktop mode and there is literally only one game I want to try at this point and that's Age of Empires which I was surprised actually it you know it runs better than my PC now I don't actually have sound coming out of my monitor so I should have really switched it to uh, coming out of the speakers or maybe connecting I've got a jack input in this uh, sorry a jack output in this uh, I haven't sorted anything out yet but I know I literally just plugged headphones into my Steam Deck and just run it like that when I was using the USB-C dock. But let me see if I can continue. In fact, you know what? Let me be a bit brave, pump up the settings a bit more on this. So I've got full HD resolution. Um, let's go on to, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go to, oh, you want me to restart the game for medium quality. Um, nah, go on, let's, let me put it on medium. Yeah, restart, that's really nice. Text the detail on medium. Animation on medium. Some animation looks really awful on low. Anti-aliasing. Quit now. Okay, continue campaign. It's probably good there's no sound to be honest. And copyright music might get flagged up. Let's skip this, I don't care about it. Well, I do care about this, it's actually quite awesome. But let's see. I've got the frame counter there. 100 frames per second if only. I didn't need to get a new monitor with at least two HDMI slots. Yeah, there you go, I've admitted it. I've only got one HDMI slot. So I will need to sort something out with this. Quite interesting that it shows up on the Steam Deck as well. I thought it would have switched this off and just, it's kind of just duplicated it across. Right, that's quite interesting. Let's see if I can skip this cutscene. Yeah, let's see. Oh, 37 frames per second, 40 frames, and there's not really much on the screen, to be honest. I might have to put it all back down to low. I mean, main thing is I can play Age of Empires 4 because I can't really play it on my PC. It runs a lot better than it does on my uh, normal PC. Um, even if it still looks like a pile of rotten leaves. <laughs> but yeah, absolutely love Age of Empires 2 and to be able to play the fourth one is really cool. Um, I have seen what the graphics look like um, when they are maxed and it's such a shame I'd have to pay quite a lot for that. 
Oh, it's good just to play. I mean, 40 frames per second, it's not bad. There's something jerky about it almost. I don't know what it is. Is it the animations or? I mean, it's dropping quite heavily, sort of to 25 up to 40 frames. So it can be played using the Steam Deck on low. And I think if you want the best possible experience, that's what you do. Now I put it to medium. And if I just go into my settings, in graphics, medium, see shadow quality's off. Shadow quality hits on the uh, processing power and I still put that to low. That's the animation. Gosh, it must be then. Let me just pop that on low. Oh, restarting the game. That's really annoying. Right, I'll just play with it. And what do they want? Defeat middle thought rebels. Right, anyway, let me just save. Manual save unavailable. I don't know what that is, it's saving now. Right, and there you have it. That's the Steam Deck docked and it is brilliant. It opens up so many possibilities. Uh, the specs to actually get this into an actual computer would cost way more than the Steam Deck itself, I'm pretty sure. Except for the SSD, I'm sure I could get a bigger size. But it beats my gaming computer from uh, six, seven years ago, which I still have. Um, it can run most games. It'll be interesting to see what the Steam Deck 2 does. I mean, let's be honest, that one will be really good. Um, but I'm just quite grateful, to be honest. I've got this now. It means I've got an option for a gaming computer. Um, and this is a Microsoft keyboard I bought on Black Friday in 1999 with a mouse as well. And it works pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below. Like and subscribe and until next time.